Hey, what's up everybody? Um, I'm back again with another video and this is going to be episode three in the series status update. I came across this meme on Facebook and it was posted by a woman um, who has the Facebook handle Honeybee Morrison and she usually posts, uh, she usually posts a lot of uh, status updates and memes that are kind of thought provoking and uh, kind of invoke people to comment and reply, sort of like I do, um, and basically just join the discussion, you know. Um, and the reason why I like a lot of her posts and the, the, the way that she interacts with people on Facebook is because I'm all about joining the discussion. Don't just complain about our differences, um, men amongst, I mean, men versus women. Let's talk about it and see if we can understand each other better. So I'll read to you guys what the uh, meme says. It says, women fail to realize men have feelings. They were just taught not to show them. Originally, when I saw this meme, I was going to respond just to the first half because that, in my experience, is what I find more often than not is true, that a lot of women do fail to realize men have feelings. Um, to further that, I also feel like a lot of women who have this issue um, fail to see the ways that we do express our feelings because we do to be clear men do express their feelings we just don't do it in quite the same way that women do and to further that um we don't have to it's impossible for us to do so because physiologically chemically metabolically we're different two totally different makeups um where men are similar to women and that we're we're all human and that's pretty much where it stops. I mean, our body makeup is different. Our uh, physical features, our characteristics, our traits, our tones of voice and our uh, the way that we see lives, our, our nature of reflection. It's all different. And it starts in the, in the, in the home at an early age. Um, and I feel like as boys, we men are put under pressure early on in life Um in, rel in relation to how we have to function and operate as men. You see it if you have a brother or nephew or if you were a boy growing up um, or if you have a son, whether you're a single mom, whether you're a father, you know, we teach our sons not to cry, not to show emotion, not to appear weak or girly. Um, we see it all the time, you know, even in this capitalistic society that we live in, that we call America, even the toys that we purchase for our kids are geared towards these types of things. You know, for the girls, it's um, dollhouses and dresses and playhouse and be the mom. And for the boys, it's be a superhero, you know, go to work and, you know, be powerful. And for women, um, early, you know, later on in life, they are subjected to the pressures of becoming a woman. You know, do I go to school to further my education? Do I get married? Do I have kids? If I have kids, do I want to become a stay-at-home mom? Um, you know, do I have to take care of the household, cook, clean, and all these things? I'm not pushing any type of 1950s agenda of women stay at home, fat and uh, pregnant and barefoot. I'm just stating the facts um, as we are all subjected to and have experienced them. So don't accuse me of the bullshit. So anyway, when I saw the meme, originally I was going to respond to the first half. The women failed to realize that men have feelings. And then I saw Miss um, Morrison's caption to the post. And I'll read it for you guys. It says, yes, we understand that a man has feelings. However, why are they taught not to acknowledge it? And instantly the comments started to flood it. And people were giving their opinion and uh, it was more women than men, as is usually the case, of course, because air quotes, men don't express their feelings. And then something funny happened because it always seems to uh, be very interesting to me how when a woman is expressing herself and part, partly because of the way that we as men were trained from earlier on in life, when a woman is expressing her feelings, it's it's so taboo to try to um, go against those feelings or tell her that those feelings are wrong. Um, you guys are kind of left to express your feelings and feel however you want to feel about whatever the issue is without judgment. 
excuse me, but when a man does it, women typically will try and jump in and um, kind of apply all of these different ideas that they have based on their experiences um, to what it is that we're professing to be feeling um, in any given moment. So I commented and I'll read to you guys what my comment was. It isn't even necessarily that we are taught not to acknowledge him. When the consensus is that a man is supposed to embody strength, we are miseducated into thinking that strength and expressively experiencing emotion are not synonymous. They are. It's just perceptually not conducive to society's standards of how men should behave. We as men don't like that this is the case, but as men we feel we have to accept it. After all, acceptance is the best way to create the illusion that we set tones that actually we just adhere and conform to. Now, and of course, there were a lot of likes and a lot of replies to that where a lot of women agreed with my assessment, but then even still took it off into their own direction of, you know, why they think this is the case. And there was one woman and I don't even remember her name because I don't care because I feel like her reply was just totally asinine and part of the reason why this discussion needs to be continued. But her reply was simply the phrase, um, it's a weakness. No, it's not a weakness. There is no such thing as strengths and weaknesses as it relates to us as human beings on an emotional level. Because all behavior is learned. It's not about strength and weakness. Um, what my position is, is that I feel that we, as men, would love to express ourselves and be looked at as being more sensitive. But in the form of relationships and in the world of corporate America, a man who appears to be weak won't get the job. A man who appears to not be a good leader and who appears emotional appears unstable. In the form of relationships, and you women say it all the time, don't deny it. I don't want a weak man. I don't want an emotional man. You say you do, but then if it's too much of it, um, it's a bad thing. And then you, you don't have the same level of respect for that man because you feel like he's too feminine in nature. Problem I have with that is when you self-proclaim yourselves to be the judger and ruler over what is manly and what isn't, and then you as females take the role of uh, assigning who fits and doesn't fit that mold. We just have to accept um, the consequences of that assessment. Well, that's not conducive to us furthering our agenda as far as getting along better together and developing better problem resolution skills when in relationships with one another. It's impossible. We allow you women, I'm speaking for myself and all men, because I'm the biggest advocate of men because I feel like we are stereotyped unnecessarily so and have a bad rap because of the, of the men who are out there who aren't progressive in their thinking and in their everyday life. But don't act like you women don't have the same issue. And while Everyone is kind of grouped into stereotypes based on bad experiences. Men do it far less than women. Women blame the male gender for all of their issues, insecurities, um, bad relationships, father not being there. Far more. It's far more expansive an occurrence than men blame females as an overall gender for the issues that we have with the few. Look, we even created subdivisions of different females so that we could compartmentalize from the women out there who are good women from the women who aren't. That's why we call some of you women bitches and the rest are sisters because um, there are good women out there and those are the ones that we acknowledge. But even when we do that, we're wrong. But I'm not even going to get into the whole dualism of men can't call women bitches but bi women can call bitches bitches that's a whole nother episode and i'm already starting to think of some ideas that i want to do for that which will come at a later date the issue here is this women if you want men to show that we have feelings 
express those feelings to you so that we can start to work better together and reach the goal of understanding each other in a more clear space for the purpose of relating on a higher level, then let us do that. But don't look for us to do it in quite the way that you do it with your girlfriends and don't look to try and analyze necessarily what it means when we express our feelings or emotions. Because a lot of times intent is lost in the sea of um, misdiagnoses which are based on past experiences. I'm not even going to elaborate on that. I'm going to let you guys tell me what you think. Because I get accused often of appearing like I know it all, like I have all the answers. And you guys know my style. I don't pretend to know everything about everything. But I do know a little bit about a little bit. And these are just my thoughts. Tell me yours. I'll catch you on the next one. Salute, peace, and love. Take care of each other.